Okay, so we're gonna do tuning up the ukulele. And uh, first thing to know is what um, the strings are called. So normally you're holding your ukulele like this, and we would say that this part is closer to the bottom, and this is closer to the sky, or going up. So this string down here is like the way apartments are first floor, second floor, third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth. We would call this the first floor or the first string. And then the next one, the second and the third and the fourth. So um, we start usually by tuning the fourth string. So that's this one here. And instead of holding it like this, um, for the camera, I'm just going to lay it down here so that it's a little bit easier um, to film. So this tuner is a snark, the old, ver I think it is a snark, the older version. So um, we're going to use this one. And um, you turn a tuner on like there. And I have made these all go out of tune so it would be a lot of work. This ukulele has no gears, it is direct. So the screw that you're turning is directly turning this um, peg. So unlike the uh, more modern ones that have a gear and the tuning peg stick out to the side, those are a um, hundred million times easier to tune than the direct ones. And um, this one, is uh, I find very, very difficult to tune, but it stays in tune really good, but I kicked it out of tune, so it's gonna be a lot of work. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> so our fourth string, this one here, needs to be a G. So that would be what I would call perfect. And um, so if it is too sharp or too tight or too high, it might register as an A, or if it's really too tight, it might be a B. And then if it's too flat or low, or too loose, it might register as an F, or if it was really loose, an E. So then we'd have to tighten it to get it to an F, and then a G, or if it was up here, we'd have to loosen it to take it to an A, and then a G. So let's see what it says. We're gonna, um, so this string here, we're gonna pluck it, and then you're gonna look with your eye to see which tuning peg it goes to. So this one here, string number four, goes to this tuning peg. So you have to make sure you have your hand on the right one. Because if you start plucking your string, and you're turning this one, and you're saying, how come nothing's happening? It's because um, your hand is on the wrong one. Okay, so we are seeing what it says. What does it say? It says F sharp. So it's here, and the sharp means it's on its way to being a G, but it needs to get tighter, because if it's on this side, we want it to move toward the green, which means tighter. This way would be looser. So let's make this one tighter, so we um, need to make it go around this way. So I am going to tighten it, and now it's starting to show a G, so that's good. And we're climbing up to straight. Oh, oh my goodness, that was lucky and easy. Oh, I decorate my tuners, because in, your, in class you might hand, somebody might say, oh, can I borrow your tuner? And you're like, yeah, I put my initial on it, so I decorate it that way um, if somebody accidentally leaves it on their on their ukulele, they'll remember it's not theirs and they'll return it to you. Okay, so now this one, we're gonna work with string number three. So counting from one, two, three, four, like apartment floors, we're gonna be on string um, three, the third string. So we want this to be a C and it is a C but it isn't straight up, so it needs to get like more to here, so it's gonna climb this way. So it's too flat, and we want it to get tighter or sharper. So we are gonna look at our finger, we're gonna look at the string and see it wrap around this way. And so we know that we wanna tune it 
turn it this way to have it climb up closer. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got kind of lucky. Okay. Wow. Fabulous. Okay, that didn't take much. So I turned it just a little bit that way. Okay. Um, no, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, now it's going to snap and go too far. Okay. Go back down a little bit. Hello. B, so I took it all the way to there, and now we got to tighten it up again. Go back down a little. So we want to get that sweet spot. Sometimes what I do is I'll leave it and I'll go to the next one and just see if when I come back if it's a little better. Okay, that one looks happy. Yay! Okay, so now we're gonna go to, here's string one, two, three, so we're gonna go to string number two, and that one we want it to be an E. But those, the next two tuning pegs are on the opposite side, so we have to reach our hand around this way. So I'm gonna reach my hand around to this one, because if you look and see, this string goes all the way to that tuning peg, so make sure your hand is on the right tuning peg. So what do we have? Okay, we have an E that is a little bit too tight or too sharp because it's on this side. Okay, so that means it got screwed around too tight this way, so we want to unscrew it. We want to make it go looser. So I'm going to loosen it a little bit. Ah, almost. Oh, that was a lot. We went all the way um, to the D. So now we got to climb back up again. Okay, so we're climbing up, up, up. Oops, a little too tight. Go back down. Um, pretty close. Um, happy. Uh, almost happy. A little tiny, little minuscule movement. Yay! Yeah. Kind of. We'll come back to it. Okay, so we're going to go to this string right here. That string, the first string, or the bottom string. And we want it to be an A. And if it's too loose or too low, it'll be a G. And if it's too tight or too sharp or too high, the pitch is too high, it'll be a B or a C. So let's see what it is. Okay, it's a G sharp. So it is too loose. So we look to see which peg it's on. It's on this one, and it's winding this way. If it's too loose, then we want to tighten it to have it go more like that. So make sure your hand is on the right peg, and start twisting a little bit. OK, we got an A. but. Oh, good. Um, uh. And our E got a little flat. We're going to tighten it just a hair. Uh. Okay, that's good. All right, so there we go. Whew, more or less. This ukulele has the normal um, strings. This is not a low G. So now we're ready to have fun. 